Hey guys, welcome to another Zebra tutorial and as always uh, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out adsrstunts.com and zebratutorials.com and then when we open up Zebra um, I think this is the last week for a little while that I'm gonna talk about the um, oscillator uh, morphing section but there's just one more thing that I'd like to show you and we've talked about this a lot lately I know but um, I've been experimenting a little bit with it myself as well uh, the last weeks and I found some cool tricks so in this video I'm just gonna try and make a sound uh, live as we as we go along and I'm just gonna use the oscillator one for now and I'm gonna click on the first slot here and I'm gonna use a uh, geomorph and now I can make a sort of an interesting waveform here by just doing some random stuff and I'll probably speed up this video section so you don't have to look at this okay now I've got my first wave it sounds like this I'm gonna set the tuning down to minus two octaves so minus 24 and then it sounds a little bit dull so I can see what I can do about that there we go and now I'm gonna copy this wave to the last slot so I'm gonna hold control click here on the last slot and I say duplicate and now these two are the same and in the middle there's still um, the waves that we had originally and I think here I'm gonna make some sort of a sine wave or more like a triangle maybe Okay, that's okay, and now I'm gonna go over to the last. I'm gonna copy this to this um, slot 15 here. So I'm gonna do the same. I hold Control, I click, and I say Duplicate. And then I'll go over there and I'll um, turn this around so I'll make it look like this. And now I want to morph these, so I am click here again, hold control, click here, and then I say morph. And now it's going to make all these values slowly so that it switches over. Then I'm going to choose an MSEG1 to um, control this knob for me. And I'm going to draw a shape here. And now I know that um, the the very top half of this uh, MSEG that's going to be this um, this waveform because that's the maximum amount of modulation and all the way at the bottom it's going to be this waveform. I'm going to change this up a little bit and in the middle is going to be the morphing section. So I'll go over to that MSEG again. I can make a new points here by uh, holding command and clicking and now I can make sort of a bass rhythm these waves a little bit more interesting as well so I'm gonna choose well maybe we just duplicate this one to here and then we we'll change some stuff and this is this is all pretty random and I'll duplicate that one to here and 
I'll change it some more. Okay, and now I've got some nice movement in my wave, and now it's time to check out some oscillator effects. And I think I'm gonna try the uh, turbulence for now. And maybe the phase transfer. Or the phase root. And we just choose what sounds could sound right here scrambler could be good it's a little bit too bright um, yeah I like this one and I'm gonna turn on sync and try some values here let's try 12 first And then we can try to set it to dual. So it's gonna have two oscillator copies. And I can set the same MSEG, that MSEG1, to this turbulence control. And now let's try a uh, filter to finish this. Um, let's go with the cross modulation filter. And then we open up a second oscillator and I'm going to mute this lane. And I've showed this trick before. Now we choose sidechain from uh, lane 2. So now the cross modulation sidechain is listening to this oscillator. We were not hearing the oscillator itself. And with the filter FM here, um, we choose the amount of modulation from this oscillator. And this filter FM that is um, frequency modulating the cutoff. And what that means is that um, the higher that I'm gonna set the tuning of oscillator to, the more, the higher the the modulation is gonna be. The intensity you'll hear it. And then I'm going to choose an L pass and a low pass combination filter here. I'm going to set the mode to parallel. And let's modulate this one with a new MCG. And you can get pretty messed up bassy drum and bass sounds this way if you spend some time tweaking. And then I'm going to choose another third MSCG to control this offset. I'm going to set the offset all the way to the left with a full amount. And then I make some movement here as well. I'll make a loop
and now we can experiment with some different filter types. So now we have a pretty nice sound already, um, we can try a reverb. We can play it a little bit lower. And I can try some stuff like setting the aftertouch of my keyboard to the sync. Um, we can set it down. So now when I press down on the key here harder, it's gonna set the sync um, one octave higher. Um, that is if you have aftertouch on your keyboard. I could also try and set it to the cutoff here. Um, It's not too exciting. Maybe on the filter FM. Um, where is it? And maybe on the fractals. After touch. Oh. Try an expander here. And from this point, there are there are a lot of ways um, how I can make this better. For example, I can route a part of the sound to mix one and then let it go through bus one and then I can insert a small delay here um, so the two one eight and eight dotted and now I can control its return amount with my aftertouch so I'll go to the mod page and I'll say aftertouch and then master return one and now when I press the key harder it will open up the lane with delays I can set another mix here to um, the second lane and I can put a for example shall we do a shaper here I can set it to wedge insert one other filter here and just to keep it a little bit in control I can make it a band pass and I can control that with um, let's choose an MSCG maybe or the aftertouch again and 
step so um, that is the the basic idea of getting uh, big bass sounds with this um, oscillator technique and you can also have a more static sound and not use the MSDG here and choose for a nice value in between There are a lot of values now here to choose from. I can use uh, another envelope to just have it quickly go up and down the waves. So I, I really like that and I want to share that with you and uh, maybe sometime we'll go into it a little bit deeper because if you want to make those really crazy noisy kind of sounds um, it's not as easy as this you have to do a lot more processing and bounce it down and then uh, split it into different frequency bands and if you want me to make a video about that as well I can do that just um, just give me a comment on the YouTube page so I know what you guys want to learn. And until then, uh, see you next week. Thanks. <laughs>